Each morning this week, we are helping you start your spring cleaning. I know you dread it, but it really will help. So yesterday we explained the best way to clean the soap scum out of your bathroom and what works best in your toilet. Now we're focusing on the kitchen, right? So the first trick is to keeping odors and of course gunk in your frigid bay is water and baking soda. So you want to mix a cup of baking soda and a quart of water and then dip a sponge in it and wipe down all of the plastic surfaces that are inside. Now if you have a smelly dishwasher even after you've run it, you may need to actually clean the filter. Yeah, it has a filter. This is typically in the bottom. It's under the spray arms. Unscrew, pull it out and you could just wash it by hand. Now when it comes to the arms themselves, you also poke out any food that's stuck in the holes with a toothpick. Next, your countertops. Consumer Reports warns you care is not one size fits all. Using a damp cloth for an end of the day wipe down is really enough for quarts, but a sponge dipped in dish soap and water really works just fine for granite, laminate, and butcher block as well. In general, you want to skip scrubber sponges because they can score your surfaces and leaving kind of cracks and crevices where bacteria can then hide and grow on your countertops. So be sure to join us tomorrow at 740. The cleaning mistakes you are making that actually make your home, believe it or not, dirtier.